We are officially six months into 2024. And since it's the halfway point of the year, I'm here to ask you, how many goals on your vision board have you ticked off? So many people create their vision boards, create their New Year's resolutions at the start of the year, and then at the end of it, they're like, I didn't achieve anything this year. I forgot what my New Year's resolutions were. They stare at their vision board and they wonder why nothing has come true because they haven't been actively checking up on those goals and making sure they're working towards them consistently. And since so many people forget to actively check in on their goals, I'm here to give you that reminder. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down 10 super easy steps that will help you achieve your dream life in the last six months of the year so that by the end of the year, you're actually feeling pretty damn good about yourself. If you've seen my videos before, then you know back in 2023, I manifested majority of the dream things I have in my life right now. And before 2024 begun, I created once again, another new vision board. And I have an entire video on my channel, which you guys loved breaking down how I made this, why I set certain goals and how I was gonna set out to achieve them. And so today, before I break down the 10 easy steps to make sure you achieve your goals in literally only six months, I'm also gonna break down and show you what I've achieved so far, what contributed to that and how I'm also gonna go ahead for the next six months. Before we get started with the video, be sure to check out the links in my description where you can pre-order my book that is coming out this August. It teaches you how to love yourself completely and radically along with links to all of my socials, including my second YouTube channel, which I know you guys might be wondering, why is the background different? I'm actually currently sat in my bedroom to film today instead of the usual living room that I film in because my living room is a bit of a mess and it's also super empty because I'm moving apartments, you guys. Meaning this video is the last one in the apartment that I've been filming in for the last year, which is so crazy. I'm actually moving to London in two days and I'm documenting the entire process on my vlog channel. So be sure to go over that and check it out. There's gonna be four videos in my moving diary series. You're gonna see what it's like to say goodbye to to Birmingham, to move to London, what the new apartment's gonna look like, the new video set up, my dream walk-in wardrobe, which is actually on my vision board and is going to be coming true in literally a few days. And lastly, this video has been brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform basically designed to make your life easier so that you can actually make all of your business dreams and goals come true with absolute ease and comfort. That's right, you don't need knowledge, don't need experience because Squarespace is taking all of the heavy lifting out of it for you. First of all, when you go onto their website, you have a wide array of beautiful website templates to choose from so that you can design a gorgeous professional looking website, even though you had no idea how to, okay? They are doing all of the work for you. Alongside that, if you wanna set up things like email marketing, so many templates alongside their blog features where they teach you step-by-step step how to use every single one of their features, as well as offering so much advice on how to run and grow a successful business. Whether it's using SEO, whether it's setting up an e-commerce store, or if you don't wanna sell products, you can sell time, you can sell your services, you can integrate your social media. This way, you can become an entrepreneur literally today, which means you have no excuse says those new year's resolutions you set at the beginning of the year to set up your business to start setting up new income streams to have a side hustle squarespace is here to make that your reality so with the theme of this video being achieving your dream life in six months squarespace is literally the way to go in doing that by december you could literally be managing a growing brand but if you're already doing that squarespace also has all of the tools in place to support growing entrepreneurs as well as new ones if you're already on social media maybe you have a following but you've always dreamed of setting up a business you could have an up and running business by the end of the week simply by using Squarespace's integrated scheduling and calendar tools to set up appointments with clients you already have on social media and start selling your services so that you can make money straight away without needing to buy inventory and all of that. So you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, come back to this video and click the link below in the description, squarespace.com forward slash Tamcor to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, before I break down the 10 steps to achieve your dream life in six months, let's go through what I've achieved and why I even know what I'm talking about. This is my vision board that depicts all of the New Year's resolutions I set for 2024. Down here, we have multiple pictures of a London flat that I really wanted to move into, already secured, contract signed, moving in on Monday. Did I have any idea if that would definitely happen? Absolutely not, but it's happened. Number two, I have always dreamt of having a walk-in wardrobe since I was a little girl and I've never had anything near it secured. The shelves, the walk-in wardrobe is bought and already at the apartment and there are builders coming in four days to come and assemble it all for me. So within five days, I will be living in this reality. If you want to talk about being delusional, I put this picture of a first class fight on my vision board. I kid you not. I'm pretty confident in myself and my achieving and manifesting abilities. But when I stuck this down, I was like, 
where am I gonna go and how am I gonna afford that and when am I ever gonna justify a first class flight? I did it. I literally flew to New York last month and went there first class there and back. My first ever first class flight. Actually, I documented the entire thing on my vlog channel, which you can watch. Consider it TikTok. There are also other things that are happening right now. I don't know if I can talk about them, so this is also really hard, but I'm just gonna say there are two other images on this vision board that have been confirmed. I just kind of announced them yet. Right here, I put it really small, was to publish my book, which I had been writing for a while. I put it really small because when I was creating this video, I didn't want anyone to know I was writing a book at that point, but the book is finished. The book is being published in August. There's gonna be a book signing event. It's a whole thing. Over here, I now have a 1 million subscriber YouTube plaque. And then even things I haven't achieved, like 1 million followers on Instagram, my following has already doubled in size than what it was in January. So we're on the way, that's gonna happen. Like I said before, New York, my dream trip, my entire life I've wanted to go, I went there. I spent a whole week there alone and vlogged it all. Over here, I put pictures of healthy food and eating and just really focusing on my fitness, which has been a huge priority this year. If you follow me on Instagram and you see the day in the life vlog reels that I post, you know your girl been going to Pilates every single week, stays going to the gym every day, and I eat a pretty much completely whole food diet and I'm very consistent with it. Up here and here, we have solo travel because I really wanted to take myself more to like a resort, tropical, relaxing type of holiday on my own. And I literally made that happen and you can watch it for proof on my vlog channel when I took myself to Cyprus a few months ago. Next up, I also wanted to be interviewed and really get my name out there. So I've already been in this setting doing video podcasts with multiple amazing creators so far this year. And lastly, right here, I have two women at a meeting and at the top it says team meeting because I came into this year only working for myself. I had no editor, I had no one helping me out. And like my goal this year was to hire a team of people. And guess what guys, in January as a girl who was only working for herself, I now have six employees. Vision boards work. And that's everything I've achieved in the first six months of the year. Like I said, there are two things on this vision board that are confirmed to happen. And then I'm also working on a few more things. And now I'm gonna break down the 10 steps that can help you achieve the exact same in only six months. Step number one, set monthly or weekly intentions. This is so important and it's gonna save you from the trap of letting your goals collect dust because you simply forget about them and get swept up in all of your other responsibilities in life. But here's the thing, you are out here writing in your calendar when you have a dentist appointment, when you need to go to your friend's event, when you need to go to school, when you need to make it to that work meeting. Why are you not also scheduling in your calendar? Look at vision board, look at list of goals and schedule one hour this week to work toward at least one of them. Because let me tell you, I have been doing that since January. Before the start of every single month, I have a list in my notes app where I cross-reference my New Year's Eve resolutions along with looking at my vision board. And then I think, okay, in the month of June, what am I gonna work towards? What is gonna be my focus of the month? After that, I then cross-reference my monthly intentions with my weekly schedule. Every single week on Sunday, I plan ahead my week. So I'm like, okay, Monday I'm doing this. Tuesday I have a workout class. Wednesday I have meetings. Oh, okay, I have a spare hour there or I have a spare evening on Saturday. When I look at my monthly intentions, I can make time for this, this, and this. It's as easy as that. And then you don't even need to think about it. You are just floating through your week, simply just getting a to-do list done, but also achieving your goals at the same time. It's all about splitting a huge goal into just small bite-sized chunks because a lot of the time, the reason we procrastinate and don't achieve our goals is because they're so overwhelming and they're so big. And most importantly, they feel so far away. So let's say one of your goals was to get fit and healthy and get into sport or lose weight, whatever. That's a lot. That's a huge change. But really your monthly intention should be go to a workout class once a week. Okay, I've already booked the class on Wednesday. I've already scheduled three hours this week in which I'll spend at the gym on different days. And it's as easy as that. This links into step number two. Remember your why, because staying disciplined and motivated on this journey is as important as ever. There are gonna be so many times when you wanna give up. So many times. We've already got so many other things to balance in this life that trying to push ourselves to grow and be ambitious and level up can be a lot on top of everything else we have to do. So it's important to make a note of or meditate on your desires by remembering why you even started in the first place. And I always say, you cannot be motivated by the goal by just getting the goal. So for example, if your goal is, I want to write a book, your why is not because I wanna be an author, because it would be cool to write a book, because that's really impressive. No, the why is, I wanna inspire people out there. I wanna share the knowledge that I wish I had when I was younger. I wanna write the book that I wish I could have read. I want to make sure people never suffer in the way that I did. Those are why's. Those are the reasons that are gonna get you out of bed in the morning because your purpose goes beyond yourself. It goes beyond trying to impress other people looking cool or doing something that will get you external validation because that motivation is very fleeting. When
when you understand the deeper meaning and the personal significance behind all of your goals, it gives you next level resilience to bounce back from any of the setbacks and obstacles you are bound to experience on this journey. Step number three, you need to regularly self review. I like to do this at the end of the month where I normally do a journal entry of what went well and what didn't go so well during that month. And once I've made like a bullet pointed list, I look back at it and I'm like, why didn't that go well? And why did that go well? What is the difference between the two? Was I working in a certain environment? Was I more stressed at that time? Was I pushing myself too hard? Was I not pushing myself enough? And this gives you so much knowledge. I'm honestly the biggest believer that you are your own best life coach because no one knows you like you do. No one spends 24 seven with yourself and in your brain and in your life experiencing every single moment with every single thought and feeling like you do. Only you have all of the answers. So if you take some time to think good, bad, okay, why? How did I spend that day? You are gonna unlock all of the answers as to what you should implement moving forward to continuously have those good days. It literally just takes spotting the patterns and reflecting on why you did a certain thing a certain way and what factors in your life influence that. But on top of that, it's also important to schedule time every single month to reflect on your wins. Even if they're super small, let's say you only went to one workout class the entire month and you wanted to do 10, it's still a step in the right direction, right? It's still an improvement from what you would have done last year and you need to be giving yourself that praise and that self-love because that also massively contributes to your motivation and your discipline. If you are constantly so hard on yourself and you're reminding yourself of how far you have left to go, the goal seems too far away and you're going to be less motivated to go and get it. But if you're like, oh my God, look at all this progress you've made and you're actually doing it. You're becoming the person. You're leveling up into your life. You're so close to the end. You're going to run towards the goal because you're going to feel so good about yourself just on the journey. Four, the magic of visualization, which is why we created the vision board in the first place. It's actually very, very common for people to create these and then not look at them. Like you can fully put it in a place that you were going to walk past and see every single day and you're seeing it with your eyes, but you're not actually seeing it. You're not visualizing it, which is what the entire purpose of a vision board is to do. Like I can look at it and I can see what's there, but the entire purpose of manifesting and bringing your goals into reality via this is to look at the goals and literally see them coming true. Seeing yourself in every single image until you feel like it's already happened. That's the goal. The ultimate goal of visualization is to feel this deep satisfaction and success and accomplishment that you've already got the thing. That is the ultimate form of manifestation and that is what a vision board is there for you to do. So if you are thinking about the fact that you want to do public speaking and get on stage and you think, well, I'm still nervous and no one's going to ask me to do it and I don't know if I can do that, you're not manifesting correctly. The goal isn't going to come to you because you are at this low vibrational state of fear and you're not letting your vision board give you the chance to bring that goal into your reality. Instead, you need to be staring at that image. You know what? You don't even have to use your vision board. You can simply every single day meditate or while you're falling asleep, which is what I do, close your eyes and imagine yourself public speaking over and over and over again because your brain cannot tell the difference between a real or an imagined image. And so the more that your brain sees this, the more it feels like it's already done it. It's achieved that a thousand times and all of those nerves and all of that fear starts to fade away. And instead what arrives is this feeling of accomplishment, which aligns with the feeling that you would have if you had actually already accomplished the thing, meaning you're aligned with your highest self. And I think that is personally the most important thing. I no longer believe that you have to work 24 seven to get all of your goals. It's things like manifestation, self-perception, self-confidence and self-love, which also help you get there. Step number five, self-education. You need to have a look at the terms, words, quotes, or images on your vision board and start Googling them. So for example, angel investor, already something I'm working towards. You know why? Because I don't look at this and wait for it to magically appear in my life. I know I have to put in the work to get towards it. And so what I do is I Google angel investing. I learn about the concept. I get familiar with what it means. And then I search for podcasts that teach me about angel investing and I will play it when I'm on a walk, when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. I've already done that this year, meaning I am now more equipped to be able to be the person who is an angel investor. I am closer to that version of myself. You can listen to podcasts, you can watch YouTube videos that help you get closer to the goals on your vision board. And I actually spoke about this in one of my previous videos, which is how to achieve more by doing less. You don't need to have all of the knowledge. You don't need to be reading textbooks all night and day. People out there are already masters in what you want to learn. Let them do the work for you by consuming that content. Simply just do yourself that favor. And that means you're literally achieving your goals and becoming your dream self when you're on the way to work, when you're on the way to school, doing things you were gonna do regardless. Step number six, don't forget about the tiny little micro habits. And for this, you're going to need a daily scheduling app or software. Now I was using 
using the calendar app on my iPhone for a really long time. I still love her to pieces. But right now I'm actually using an app called Structured because it times your tasks and it's also just a cute aesthetic way of planning your day. I love that app. And so on here, when I am planning my day, I'm like, okay, I got a two hour time block. I got dinner at this time. I got meetings at this time. Also, I will schedule little 15 minute tasks that get me further towards my goal. So for example, with angel investing, listen to link to this podcast in the morning. If my goal is to get fitter, schedule this class for the evening. Drink three liters of water. Open my intermittent fast at this time. Put some money in my savings account to get me closer to my goal of traveling this summer and so on. You need to hold yourself accountable because you can take just one small step every single day to do a favor for your future self. Step number seven, learn one new high income skill every single month. Because if your goal is to boost your income, I mean, most people's are, then instead of looking for a different job or wondering how you can get a promotion, which could take months, instead take charge of your reality right now by just learning a high income skill online. Most of the time you can learn it for completely free. People make free YouTube videos. I'm the biggest advocate for Skillshare. I was literally doing my classes yesterday on how to improve my editing. This way you are more equipped and more knowledgeable to start that business, side hustle, or simply align with the job that you are trying to get. Even if you do nothing else like you don't travel anywhere you don't buy the expensive bag you don't get the dream house you don't get any of that if that's what you're working towards by the end of the six months you are going to have six high income skills do you know how powerful you're going to be do you know how many opportunities you will literally just be carrying in your brain just from having that you are actually going to set yourself up so well for 2025 because you spent six months simply laying the foundation that now you are more likely to get hired for higher paying jobs you have more knowledge to go into business with someone or simply set of a passive income stream just from that knowledge and also it will just make you feel hella confident that you have all of this new knowledge and it will keep you motivated and disciplined on your journey to leveling up and making sure you're stepping outside of your comfort zone and kind of expanding your realm of knowledge so that you don't stay in the exact same place your entire life step number eight is to embrace deep work embracing a deep work approach by scheduling out three hours every single sunday to work towards one of your big goals on your vision board is much more effective and much more productive tip than stressing about it every single day and trying to multitask and juggle multiple things. On top of that, what links into this is you sometimes need to take a step back from pursuing the actual thing to instead think of smarter and more efficient ways to get the thing. So a lot of projects I've worked on in my life before I actually take the step to set up the business or film the video or whatever, I think, how can I do this in a smarter way? How can I do this quicker? How can I make this more efficient so that I win the first time doing this rather than wasting so much time doing it over and over and over again? And what I mean by this, is learning certain productivity hacks. Once again, it links into what I said about learning certain skills so that you get things right the first time. I have an entire playlist on my channel of productivity hacks that will help you get an A in your test at school quicker. I have a whole guide and system on how I got a first class degree at university just from following a certain structure so that I could achieve more with less time. And the same goes for any of the goals that you're working towards. It's about researching hacks on how you can travel for less or even searching on TikTok where people share so much of their personal experience and success for literal free all of their advice on passive income streams that are the most lucrative and take the least amount of time and that will kind of remove the barrier between you and your goals of thinking how do I do this I don't know what to do I don't have any ideas it's the research the productivity hacks that will open your mind to knowing what next step you actually have to take step number nine is to make the process fun I am the biggest believer that having fun while achieving your goals is so important and will keep you consistent on this journey which is one of the most important factors to becoming your dream yourself and having your dream reality. You need to make those consistent steps every single day and the key to that is romanticizing your life. You need to intentionally find ways to make the process enjoyable. So once again, an example of this is when I am listening to an educational podcast about a new business thing that I want to do, a new high income skill that I want to learn. I'm doing my glam in the morning. I'm going on my hot girl walk in the sun while drinking my favorite matcha. When I'm super tired in the morning and I wake up at six o'clock in the morning to do my Pilates class because I told myself I had to do it this year, I put on the cutest pink set and I walk there with the best feel good music blasting in my headphones and then I treat myself to a sweet treat or a coffee right after and it makes the day that much enjoyable and makes you look forward to doing the hard uncomfortable things. And finally, step number 10, write journal entries from the perspective of the self that would have already achieved the goals because this is such a powerful tool in manifestation. Manifestation as a whole, whatever method is your favorite, is so powerful in bringing your dream reality closer to you much faster than literally any other method. I break down 
done so many different manifestation methods on my channel in different videos and I can confidently say it's a huge factor in why I have so much of what I've achieved in the first six months of this year and when I say write a journal entry I mean every single day when you're journaling how you feel or about your feelings and doing that emotional release I always like to do a little bit of manifestation at the end of every journal entry so I will write down what I'm working towards but I will write it in like past tense so I already have this I feel peaceful and content and at ease because I already have all of the money I desire in my bank account I am financially abundant I have all of these people around me that align with my higher purpose and make me feel fulfilled in my friendship circles you need to start speaking all of this abundance into your life because it is so easy when you're vision boarding and trying to grow and work towards your goal to kind of fall into a trap of having a scarcity mindset because you're constantly thinking about the next I have to get this I don't have this yet I'm far away from this but really the trick is to flip it on its head and know I'm deserving of this it's coming to me it's already within my hands the universe is ready to hand this to me and this is on its way it's simply a matter of time in fact I can already feel the giddiness the joy the excitement of having the damn thing and honestly that makes your goals feel 100% more achievable which will then make sure you go out and you have them and that brings us to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and oh my god I can't believe this is the last video in this apartment guys it's like actually quite emotional but I'm gonna be speaking about how it feels and all of that over on my vlog channel so be sure to go over there subscribe and check it out because there'll be multiple videos coming out over the next few weeks over that whole process in the next video you watch on this channel there's gonna be a whole different backdrop oh I'm so excited thank you guys for watching I appreciate you so much and I will see you in the next one Mwah.